Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part nine of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So we are seeing the F12 configuration for voucher type of purchase. Like I'd mentioned in my previous session, there'll be a lot of common configuration related to purchase voucher and sales voucher also. So today we will see one more configuration option, which is very useful and very interesting option to hasten or speed up your data entry during your purchase transaction or your sales transaction. So let's go to tally and explore this option. We are in the purchase voucher. Let us press F12 configure to explore other options. The next option that we will be seeing in this session is select common ledger account for item allocation. Now by default, this option is set to yes. We will see and understand what is this option and what happens when we set it as yes and the implication when you set it as no. If you come here, you have this purchase ledger where when you are making the purchase entry, let us say make an entry. So the invoice number, I am selecting the party Advai Enterprises. Now you get the list of purchase ledgers. Let us take a use case. Let us say that you have one single purchase ledger where all items that you are buying will be captured for accounting information the value of the inventory will be captured in one single purchase ledger. So in that case, when you select this option in F12 saying select common ledger account for item allocation and when you make this as yes, then you can select your purchase ledger before selecting the item. So what is the advantage we will see? So let's say I'm selecting an item, file numbers, enter and it will take me to the next stock item. So I can select my next stock item, file numbers, enter. The total invoice value of, in this case, it is 4,45,000. The total invoice value of 4,45,000 will get debited to the purchase ledger if this is the only two item that you are entering in this purchase voucher. And the 4,45 will get credited to the supplier. Now let us go to the configuration and then set this option to no. Select common ledger account. Let us say it is no. So I make this as no and then I'm going to press control A. Let's just come back once again to the purchase voucher. You will notice here the purchase ledger is not displayed here on the top, just below the party's account name, which was showing when we had made the common ledger as yes. So now, why do you need this configuration? Why do you have to set it as no? The use case here is, let us say this company has created different purchase ledgers for different item. For example, they have created their purchase ledger. That is their requirement. So they have created their purchase ledger as purchases at 12% purchases at 18%, purchases at 28%. So these are three separate ledgers of purchase they have created under the purchase account group. Now, when they are making this purchase, if they are procuring items which are having different GST rate, like for example, one item could be 12%, another item could be 18%, another item could be 28%. Now, since there are three separate accounting ledger, when you go to your profit and loss account and view the profit and loss account, or when you see your purchase account group information, the company wanted to know what is the value of purchase that they have done at the rate of 12%, 18 and 28%. So now each item rate wise, the purchase ledger needs to be selected for tally to capture the value related to that particular rate. So in that case, you will not select the common ledger purchase. If you select the common ledger purchase here, all the items that you are going to enter here, the each amount value and the total value of the items will get debited to one single purchase ledger. That is what we saw in the 
previous screen. Let's say that you are buying three different items at three different rates. So when you are making the purchase voucher, let us take again the same party and now it is skipping to the item. So there is no purchase ledger here. So let's select, let's say we select the cable holder which is a 12% item. So I'm going to say I am buying 10 boxes. Okay, enter. Now if you notice tally is going to open the accounting allocation. So here for every item you will now select the respective purchase ledger. So here I'm going to press spacebar and let's say this item is 12%. So I'm going to say 12% enter. So I'm going to select the second item. Second item let us say is my laptop where I'm buying five numbers and this item is 18% item. I enter here. Now I'm going to press spacebar and I'm going to select purchase at 18%. Enter. The third item I'm buying say is the monitor which is 28%. So I'm selecting this. I'm saying five numbers have been purchased. Let's say it is 25,000. Enter. Now again it is going to open up and it is going to ask you the purchase ledger. Enter here and now I'm going to select purchase at 28% enter and this way all the item. Now let's say another item which you are buying is 12% you are going to select 12%. So now based on the rate of the item you are going to select the purchase ledger appropriately. So let us save this voucher and let's view the profit and loss account. So I go to alt G our secret number 3 and then I'm going to select profit and loss account. And if you see here, this is our purchase account group. I'm going to press shift enter and you will now notice here that purchase at 12% 1000, purchase at 18% is 1,85 and purchase at 28% which is the monitor, the laptop and the cable tie. So this way you can capture individual purchase ledger value for the item by not selecting the common ledger. I hope this option will help you in capturing your purchase or sales transaction in a faster and better way. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session with more configurations. Thank you very much.